a lot of mystics have the tendency to describe uh, phenomenal reality uh, as an illusion and they have this metaphor that uh, when we conceive of ourselves as separate discrete individuals with wants and desires and when we really take that individual life seriously um, we're kind of putting on a show we're pretending to be other than we are. We are a unity pretending to be separate. And out on stage we play certain characters and take on certain roles when behind the stage when we're preparing for the show and you know after we've given our bows and, and returned to behind the stage. The basic metaphor being, you know, before we were born and after we die, we return to that original state of unity and see the problem with this kind of thought is when you do realize or fervently believe to the point of identifying with this idea then well you know it's no longer an idea and the whole purpose of existing as this individual body may might become somewhat um, meaningless because if it isn't real then what's the point but you know if it isn't real then what's not the point you know it, it's happening you're here you're in this body interacting with other bodies and so the illusion is real and yet it's an illusion and what are we to make of that? And, you know, maybe it's just the fact that there are so many human beings alive today. But it seems like more and more people are waking up to this, this basic spiritual truth that the knower and the known are identical. Not in the sense that you can't differentiate the two, but in the sense that you can't separate the two you can't draw a line or a boundary between the two you can distinguish between the two but you can't separate the two and the notion that there could be a separation is really what forms a foundation of, of our, our society and, and our identities and what we are supposed to take seriously about life and when you get rid of that separation it makes a mockery of everything we do but it seems like as evolution progresses God or spirit is becoming progressively more and more unaware of itself at the same time it's becoming more and more complex it's it's separating itself in ever more ingenious ways and, and creating veils where there weren't veils before and you know the outcome of this is an increase in the complexity and intensity of the experience of separateness and it seems like in the human being this evolution has, has reached a point where God has almost completely forgotten that it is experiencing itself and that there is no separation. Separation has become more real than unity for the human being. And maybe that's the root of, of you know, the quote-unquote mental illness that seems to um, be afflicting more and more people. Or, you know, if you don't want to call it mental illness than just the general sense of malaise or unrest or you know depression or lack of of meaning that is affecting infecting so many people and when evolution reaches this point it's sort of um, so much pressure has built up that we're waiting for some kind of explosion of realization or recognition or 
remembrance of the original Unity. And it doesn't seem on a collective level like that explosion can be too far away because, you know, just look at the state of the human existence on planet Earth. We're about to uh, enter World War Three, and, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's already started, and we just haven't recognized it yet. Um, war with Iran seems inevitable. Politics aside, just look at global warming as another example of this uh, intensification of our experience of separateness, of, of crisis, and of that crisis being real like there really is a problem that we need to solve and that really creates a lot of stress in the collective consciousness of humanity you know the UN's coming out with all these climate reports recently that say you know within the next generation or two the earth is going to be transformed and whether or not it's because of human beings or not, doesn't really matter. Uh, the climate is going to change. The geography of the planet is going to change. And, um, you know, really there's nothing we can do to stop it at this point. All we can do is prepare for it. And it just seems like transformation is inevitable. And, you know, with transformation comes plenty of destruction, but at the same time, plenty of creation. And so, while it is, is tragic and frightening, it's, it's also exciting. And it makes it very hard to get bored with being alive, because being alive right now, think about what we're witnessing and what we're participating in. Is it all just for show? Is it all scripted? Or are we really facing a crisis?